In this video series, we are looking at multiple forms or multi-formed programs where we've got numerous forms in our program. And we are going to look at particularly at the form events and the life cycle of a form. So basically when a form gets created or when we have the birth of the form, when it comes up for the first time, there's a, a series of events that are triggered and you can actually write code on the different events for when you want things to happen. So let's just go through these events. So the first thing to take note is that's the sequence of events that happens whenever a form is given birth to. Okay, so it gets the on create, then on show, then on activate, and then it can rotate between the on paint and on resize. Basically, on paint means it's drawing the form and on resize. Whenever it gets resized, it obviously needs to get repainted, basically. So those things can happen, and that can happen during the main program as well. So let's just talk about the main ones. We want to talk about those main three at the top there. Those are those ones we want to focus on. So first of all, the on create. Now, what does it happens when we do that? Well, that's when the form is being created and its visible property is set to true. This is when you want to initialize particular variables and things like that that you want to get started before the form gets into its um, main part. Then we have the on show, and that is called just to make the form so that the form becomes visible. It's, it's, uh, it's set there, so it happens between it being created and on, on the show. And then it becomes activated. In other words, it becomes the focus. So this is when the form gets a focus. Now this can happen um, if you move to another form, then obviously it will not be active anymore. And then when you come back, this event will trigger again when it gets the focus on the second time. And then that, so that's basically the birth of the form. Now, what happens when we are, uh, we close our application or close a form? Then we have the death of a form. There's a series of events that will happen to make sure that it all shuts down properly. And so this is the sequence of events that will happen when a form is going to die. And we're going to be so sad that we lose our form. So we're going to focus on a couple of these. First of all, the on close query. So sometimes you might notice if you have a program open and you want to close and it says, hey, are you sure you want to close? Well, that's where you can actually write code for that. You could put a message dialog box over here. So are you sure you want to close? Let's put that in the on close query. And that's, so that gives you an opportunity to check if they definitely want to close. So it hasn't closed yet. We can just check it over here. Then we get to the on close event. Now this is our last opportunity to prevent the form from closing. After this, there's no going back. So the form, so we can do a last little check here or do anything if we want to undo any changes if we don't actually want to close the form. So there's the on close event. So you can write code over there. And then if that happens, then it will be deactivated. Now just a warning that that also triggers when you go to another form or to another application, this event will trigger. So if we in one form and we just open up another form, then the, the initial form will be deactivated and will be reactivated when we go back to it. And then we have on destroy. So if we jump to that part, that's basically when the operations that happen opposite to the on create. So in the on create, we would initialize everything and create a few of the things that we wanted. Here we start deallocating objects. So if you will learn about more about objects in another video series, um, and but freeing up memory, making sure that everything's not being connected to this particular form. That's what normally happens on the on destroy, and then it's gone forever, and then we can't get that form again until we open it again. So those are the events that are triggered whenever we have the birth and the death of a form. So let's just have a quick look at when these form, these events that we've just learned about actually trigger. And I want particularly the ones when we talk about activate and deactivate and stuff like that. So from our previous video, we have this form, the blue form, which is our main one. And we have our yellow form over here. Uh, that's what it looks like. And this is our secondary form. And so basically when I click on the next button, it will show the, the yellow form. And when I'm on the yellow form, if I go back, it will show the main form and it will close this form. Okay, so there's a couple of things I want to go to on the main form. Now, if I click on the form property, you can select it over here as well. So I've got the form selected. We've got our properties. I'm going to go to the events. Okay, so let's scroll along the events. Now, if I go here, do you see there is an on create uh, method? So you can double click over here to get to that code. Also, do you remember if you double click on a button, it takes you automatically to the click event? Well, if I double click on a form, you'll see it automatically takes me to the form create. Okay, so that's if I go to these events on the form, you'll see on create, it goes to the form create method. So over here on form create, I'm going to 
make my main forms caption. Let's change the caption to created. Okay, so that's all I'm going to do. I'm going to change the forms caption to created. So if you look over here, our form says the blue form. Now, if I run it, boom, you see it. The blue form is now changed to created because on create, it changed it to created. So that's the event that has triggered. Now, if you remember correctly, the on activate happens after the form is created. So if I go to the other events, let's go. There's on activate. There was on create. There's the destroy. These are all these on show. Where is there on show? On show. So if I click, let's go to on show. I'm going to click on this one. So we can double click here. We on the form show. I'm going to say show message shown. Okay, so when we do that and we run it, it's a show message. It does that. I actually want to change the caption, not the show message. I want to say frm main dot caption is equal to shown. But I want to see if it changes the create or if the create stays there. So do you see it says shown? Now you might say, where's the create? Well, it did do the create event, so it changed it to create, but then it triggered the next on show event secondary after that, and then so now it's changed it to shown. So you can see the order of it happening. It's just happening so fast, you can't actually see it. And then let's go to the forms event, and we're gonna to go to the on activate. There's on activate, so on this one, we're gonna say it's form main dot caption. Oh, we say from main. For main dot caption is active. Okay, so it will trigger the form. It will make it create, and then it triggers the show. It'll say show, and then it'll trigger the activate and say active. So we will only see the active part, even though it's doing all three. I'm just going to show you that it's actually doing those events in the order that I specified. So you can see that it's active. Okay, so now when I click on um, when I'm going to go to that form, I'm going to actually go to the deactivate event. Deactivate, boom, boom, there we go, deactivate. On this event, I'm going to say frm main dot caption equals deactive. Okay, so there we go, it's deactive. Now let's see what happens now. So when it gets deactivated, it'll change to deactive. Boom, boom, boom. So let's go. So I've got the form, it's active. Now when I go to the next form, we are on our second form, but I want you to notice, you see it says deactive, yeah. Now if I click over here, now it's active again. And I click over here, it's deactive. Active, deactive, there we go. So that there you can see how the deactive event is triggering and so on. Okay, and so if we want to get to those other events, maybe you want to get to the on destroy or on the close option or close query, maybe you want to write, are you sure? You can actually write the code on this part. You can uh, you would use a message DLG, but I'm just using a show message for time. Are you sure? Or well, we are sad to see you go. We are sad to see you go. Okay. So if we do that, and then I close the form. Oh, we are sad to see you go. Boom. And then you can write code on the on close, which will happen after that, and so on and so on. So there we go. So there we go. There's the different events. So you can those events are available. So if you know the order of how they are triggering, then you can know when things are going to happen in the sequence. So you can always put things in the form create or in the form active or stuff like that. So that can help you in knowing when those events are triggering. Okay. So just remember that life cycle of when it's born, and remember the life cycle when the form gets destroyed or dies. Okay. For the other videos in this video series, go to our YouTube channel, subscribe, click on that subscribe button. We need more subscribers and click on like. We'd love to hear from you. Leave a comment and remember, don't do it the long way, do it the Mr. Long way.